Today I'm going to show you how to add line items to your documents. Start by creating a new project or opening an existing one. Once in our project, start by selecting the green plus button in the line item row. Items that you have pre-made beforehand will show at the top and you can easily search for a specific item too. For now we're going to make a new one so I'm going to click the new item to dismiss the list. Line items can be used in various ways, but I'm going to focus on adding a basic service. Let's start with a name for our service. I'm going to call this one Spring Cleanup. Now I just want to show a total price for the entire job, so I'm going to put in the total price as the unit price. If it was a material, I could enter a unit price and quantity to calculate the total as well. We will cover costs in a different tutorial, so I'll skip that for now. The description is displayed underneath the line item name and can be as long as you want, but this is optional. Notes are not visible to the client and can only be seen by your employees that log into Estimate Rocket. It's a great place to enter in notes that will be useful for when you are ready to work on the job. Groups allow you to visually separate line items and create subtotals, but we'll go over this in another video. Once finished, hit save. Now I only want the client to see the total price, so I'm going to use the group edit button to hide the unit and quantity since I don't want them to be seen. To do this, select the yellow edit button above the line item and select edit group. Uncheck the show line item quantity and show line item unit price and then save. You will now see that the unit price and quantity have disappeared and are no longer visible. Now let's preview this and see how it looks. There are many other ways you can display your line items and services, which we will go over in another video. For more tutorials, visit us on YouTube or contact us at EstimateRocket.com.